Bonjour everyone, Pentuf here today for a new video in which we're going to talk about three upcoming premium CS after the AE Phase 1 and the Somua SM. We have three more to go, the first one being British, the second one you're going to see being Czechoslovakian. Finally, to talk about the mighty one, which should be the greatest tank out there, aka of course a Russian tank and the light one. So let's not lose too much time and jump directly into it. So, the first one I want to talk about is the Turtle MK1, a tier 8 premium version of the Tortoise. And even if it seems like a weird tank when you look at it, to be fair, it actually has quite a lot of good sides and downsides also. Don't worry, we're going to check them right now. There we go for the statistics, guys. Those are based on what I gathered about the Turtle MK1, aka the Tier 8 premium version of the Tortoise. What can you expect? I want to remind you, this is a British tank, and British tanks are known for two things, having a deadly accuracy and a great DPM. And this one is no exception, because with it, you will climb up to more than 3,000 DPM, featuring a 310 alpha damage gun, which should interest quite a lot of you, especially the newbies out there because as you have a strong armor as you can see here it will allow you not to be punished for every single mistakes you do so we combine strong armor great dpm and good accuracy with 310 alpha damage per shot of course it has a price and the price is the mobility because as this tank is a close version of the tortoise but one tier below of course when you see the tortoise you know it's not one of the most mobile tank in the game and it's going to be the same for the turtle mk1 it's probably going to be an in between between an AT-15 and a T-28, maybe um, right uh, between those two tanks in terms of mobility, so do not expect to take advanced position at the beginning of the game to be able to derp a lot your enemies. For the penetration, it's average. It's average simply because uh, it's not like a big gun that is featuring heat shells, has premium shells like it's the case on an RHM or something like this, so you will not have like 300 millimeters of raw penetration with the gold shell. With your gold shell, you should expect 230, maybe 240 maximum, which is not going to be enough when you're facing tier 9, especially if they are playing in all down or all those kind of things. But we'll have to guess what Wargaming wants to do with the penetration to find out about this. Now guys, briefly I want to show you the armor profile of the Mighty One, and as you can see, it's quite funny to think that this should have been maybe a weak spot and it's actually the most armored part of the tank and it's gonna troll quite a lot of people so when we take a look at the tank not angled at all as you can see yes you do have some juicy really juicy armor not of course the lower part of the hull but that's logic but for the rest of the tank truly this tank defends itself pretty well because as you see it's really really angled of course when you're not angled it becomes quite easy to penetrate or at least it's easier to penetrate it. But I want to show you something I forgot to talk about before. With this tank, you are featuring 10 degrees of gun depression. And just imagine you manage to put your tank in all down here. You become literally impenetrable for your opponents, which is going to make you one of the strongest tanks in all down in this goddamn game, at least when you are facing uh, tier 8. Because when you're facing tier 9, if they shoot with gold shell, they will be able to penetrate that area here. But it seems like this tank should be quite an interesting one to play, especially knowing that using your 10 degrees of gun depression, you are hiding your cupola here, which is kind of easy to penetrate if you shoot at the right angle, because the rest is literally impenetrable. So what we can expect here, is it's basically a better tortoise, one tier below, literally. So a tank I'm definitely excited to play with. As you can see guys, literally no armor, paper here, paper there, paper on the turret, literally paper everywhere. So be careful with this tank. Your only chance to actually bounce is getting it into the gun mantlet, which is not going to happen too much. One thing that is good about the tank also that I forgot to mention is probably the gun depression 8 degrees, which will allow you to work on rich lines, etc. But this tank is definitely made for support because now you will not... You will not handle any single shot the opponents will land at you, so really be careful with this one. You want to play it only if you're a good player, and I don't think it's going to be an interesting premium to play. At least, when I see the statistics of the TVP VTU, the tier 8 tech tree uh, version of this tank, this one seems to be way better. But it still sucks. So good luck playing the TVP VTU. 
To be honest with you, out of all the three tanks we're going to talk about today, this is the least interesting in my opinion. It's basically a TVP VTU but a better version simply because this one is going to feature an auto loader. You don't have any armor, you're going to see that after in the armor profile section. You do have an auto loader with three shells in and of course when you have three shells in the magazine most of the time your DPM sucks and this tank is no exception. It, it has one thing that is extremely good about it, 1.5 seconds between shells for a total of three seconds you will be able to burst your three shells on your opponents which is kind of a nice burst when you take a look at what the tvp line is going to be in blitz it doesn't have any armor and i wrote it twice unfortunately for me it does have a good mobility of course if you don't have armor you gotta be you gotta get the the mobility at least and the dpm is gonna suck i don't know yet what the alpha damage of the tank is gonna be but probably expect something like 280 maybe 300 if we are lucky but i don't think we're gonna get 300 most of the time it's gonna be 280 the same alpha damage as the one you have on the amx 5100 but with one shell uh, less in the magazine finally last but not least the lt 432 a tier 8 premium russian light tank this tank I'm excited for it and you're gonna see why. This is the kind of tank that first of all looks really strange but let's say it is as good as it looks strange. I don't know if that's the right English but you're gonna understand why straight away when we're gonna talk about the statistics. There we go for, for the statistics and when you take a look at them it seems like this tank is going to be broken in the ends of the right player. You have a great mobility, of course, because you can climb up to 70 kilometers per hour. This tank is actually catching up with the LTTB in terms of speed, which makes it one of the most mobile tank in the game. It also has a troll turret armor, but we're going to talk about that later when we'll go to the armor profile. A great gun depression for a Russian tank because you actually have seven degrees of gun depression. And what makes this tank broken in my opinion is exactly that, the gun depression, because it has a really, really low profile. And therefore, if you stack to that on top of that, the fact that you have seven degrees of gun depression, you have a way better gun depression than for example a mouse that would have seven degrees of gun depression based on the fact that you are extremely low profiled and stuck to the ground and that's something that is going to be extremely interesting to put in perspective in battle and maybe this tank is going to be good where most of the light tanks are going to struggle now it has downsides of course bad penetration average accuracy but it has a great dpm and thank thank wargaming for that because the dpm should be insane not your alpha damage because as you can see it's going around at 200 but if you reload in only 5.6 seconds maybe even less then yes you have in your hands one of the deadliest light tanks in this game and even if we already have a couple of light tanks that are quite popular especially among the premium community for example the bulldog the m4190 bulldog the main difference with this one is that this one will make the difference on the battlefield when it comes to rich lines and hilly terrains because seven degrees of compression mounted on something really low is gonna be a huge game changer just look at the profile of this tank guys it's literally so small i can't even imagine the camo rating you're gonna have with that beast but it's gonna be the perfect tank to camp with uh, to camp to spot with sorry as you can see the seven degrees of gun depression and look at this that's what is really interesting about this tank as it's really really low profile you are going to be able to use your seven degrees of gun depression quite effectively and in most of the situation you will be able to put your tank somewhere where other Others could not go and that's what is really interesting about it if we combine that with the fact that you actually have turret armor not the best of course don't mind me most of the time people will penetrate you but if you go fast enough you will be able to get some troll shots here that will bounce and not penetrate especially <laughs> sorry especially when it comes to mediums and light tanks that don't have the best penetration of course for heavies and tank destroyers it's going to be a little bit more complicated but here it should do the job for uh, other tanks and also if you are facing tier 7 tanks then yes you will actually be able to bounce on your turret and play it all down i'm really excited for this tank to see what it's going to what it's going to look like on the battlefield and what wargaming plans to do of course i want to remind you one last thing concerning the tank 
Look at this when your angle, it's perfect. One last thing concerning this tank that is extremely important and concerning all the tanks I talked about. Those are not official statistics. That's based on my previous experience, on what I gathered, etc, etc. Those tanks could come out into the game completely different. Don't take my words as god words or something like that because it's not the case for the rest of the tank of course we're talking about light tank so it's quite easy to penetrate but uh, yeah no this tank i really want it i really want it and i want it now so hopefully wargaming will add them pretty soon before ending that video because i know i'm gonna have those kind of questions in the comments i don't know yet when those tanks are gonna be implemented all i know is that they and they just got released on the super test right now therefore you can't expect them before at least let's say three or four updates so probably for the 8.0 or 8.1 update hopefully you enjoyed that video if that's the case feel free to subscribe like and share and i'm gonna see you soon for a new one au revoir